Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image, make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to outer space. You watch the videos in full screen? Oh, good. <laughs> I always put that up there, don't I? Watch in full screen. Um, supposedly, there's people that's got big 80, 90 inch TVs and they all gather around the TV and watch my videos. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. How many hate videos are out there? How many pictures of Karate Kyle are on the internet right now? Not that old. I know I look old. I know I do. I look old, but I'm really not. This is stress, does it? without my consent or permission for years Vaughn will get a rude awakening when Ma Helton dies no I will not no I will not I've been to her for four years behind my back I've got see see the beauty of this whole little fiasco is that I've got all their messages on that computer back there that they sent to her every single one <laughs> and then me I got every fucking message they sent to her all I gotta do is show it to a judge because I'm go Von Helton is going to be a very rich man. I'm having a banana right now. Yeah. Mmm. Now, see, Venice, I thought you were offering yourself there for a minute. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> wait, till I, wait till I go after all these Karate Kyle pictures. Using my fucking picture without my consent or permission. For years. I was on that last lap with that checkered flag about to weigh me on into hell. But I got nothing. I got in a rehab program down there at Redstone Arsenal down there in Alabama. And with them people helping me, well, that smoky white devil is no longer a part of my life. And I could proudly say that today, I do not freebase cocaine. Now, I'll take a drink now. I will take a drink, but I do not freebase cocaine. But, you know, I, I'll take a drink, and I might even smoke a little reef. You know, I, I like smoke, reefer, you know. But, yeah, man, according to the, uh, according to the health commissioner here in, here in Kentucky, she was uh, pumped full of date rape drugs when I got her back. Isn't that neat? Gee, I wonder who did that. wonder who did that shit. Oh, you tried flagging the SummerSlam video and it's still up? Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. Well, don't worry. The gods have got plans for YouTube. They've already sent a woman to, to shoot up the place. And if YouTube continues, they'll just find another way to shut it down. But don't worry. YouTube is going bye-bye. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter. They're all going to go down. What's that line the Christians like to use? Touch not mine anointed. <laughs> yeah, so don't worry. They'll get their comeuppance. Then when the guys get done with the with the social media, they're coming after the trolls themselves, most likely. I'm go Von Helton is going to be a very rich man. Long before Ma Helton dies, Von is going to be a very rich man. How many trolls and haters are out there slandering me, libeling me, and defaming my character? How many? How many hate videos are out there? How many pictures of Karate Kyle are on the internet right now? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I've been in several branches of the military, actually. I was in the Naval Sea Cadet Corps. I was in the Army. I was in the Coast Guard. I worked with some other uh, branches of the military, although I wasn't in them. I worked with them. I've done all kinds of shit, man. <laughs> done all kinds of shit. Worked in the government in various capacities. 
and done a lot of things. A lot of things. 80s, 90s, right on up to early 2000s, even, for some things, not all, so. I can truly say that I serve my country with distinction, no matter what the capacity. Do men in black really exist? Oh, before I forget, another Mandela effect, and this Mandela effect is going to blow all of y'all's minds. In this reality, Pearl Harbor was not the only attack on America. Are you yeah, sitting down? <clears throat> this, 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 this is, this is fucking crazy. No, I'm not talking about terrorist bombings. I'm talking about actual attacks, right? Before, you know, before all the Muslim shit. Uh, the Muslim shit was back in the 1700s, then it took kind of a lull for a while because we killed some of this, then they come back later on. But I'm talking about World War One, World War II shit, okay? Yeah. Legitimate fighting. They right. flew over California, too. Well, well, that's an alleged thing. That's not confirmed. No, there is one that crashed. But this is confirmed. Okay. Black Island was bombed by Germany during World War I. An attack on our soil in World War I by Germany. Now, how many of y'all knew that shit? Because I sure as fuck didn't know that shit. And that has to be from this timeline, because it sure as fuck came from mine. There was no Black Island being blown up in my timeline. Because, I, I, folks, I am a nut when it comes to World War I and World War II. If there had been an attack on our soil, I would have known about it. Bet on that shit. All right? But see, in this reality, there was. It was Black Island, bombed by the Germans during World War I, right here on our soil, on American soil. Well, now, see, I ain't never heard of that shit in my life. Never. Have I? But then again, I never really studied World War One history. We just studied World War Two. Oh, I was a, I was World War One and World War Two nut, dude. But there was nothing that I didn't know about that shit. Yeah. Well, I sure as hell didn't know about this. So this is a genuine, bona fide Mandela effect, no question. Because there was no other attack on U.S. soil in my timeline, dear and fucking Pete. Rabbi Tuckman says, in wills, everything is supposed to go to blood relatives, and wills going against that are hard to uphold. Rabbi Tuckman, that used to be true. I'll give you that. That used to be true. But today, it don't mean Executor a hill of Executor of the estate, yes, thank you. I was having some brain lock here. But yeah, unless you're power of attorney or executor of the state, you're not going to get shit. You got to be power of attorney and executor of the state to get the to get the property. I'm an old-fashioned fuddy-duddy, right? I'm a chivalrous guy, all right? You know, I believe in opening up the door for women, right? I'm the bouncer for Elder Beerman, which is a very, very posh furniture store, real ritzy, okay? You know, rich people come in there and shit. All right, so you know, I'm I'm a gentleman. I am, I you know, and and here comes these ladies, and you know. And this one lady comes up and, you know, I open up the door for her and I got told a few choice words. And I said to myself, I said, lady, you just fucked up. When she come to go out of the store, I had to check her bags, all right, because I'm security. I'm head of security. I had to do that. I check her bags. Everything checks out. And I hold the door open for her again. I got another few choice words, all right? So what I done was, I let her go. I let go of the door. And when I let go of the door, the door goes whack and hits her right in the ass, and she and her packages go flying out into the damn street, practically. And, 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 and you know, and, you know, she learned. She learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. when, when a man is being chivalrous, you need to respect them. You know, and uh, so yeah, but yeah, I let go of that fucking door, buddy, and it smacked her right in the ass, and away she went, buddy. She went airborne. <laughs> she went airborne. 
That'd be the law. It used to be yeah. canon. But this day and age, they don't respect that shit no more. They don't respect that shit no more. If you're not specifically written in the will, it goes to the fucking state. It don't go to you. But it used to be that way. It used to go to blood relatives. But these days, if, if you're not in the will, it goes to the state. The only way I can truly secure the property is if I am power of attorney and I'm the, um, the, um, um, oh shit, uh, uh, I can't think of the damn term right now, shit, but power of attorney, uh, you know, now heir to the, uh, blood heir to the estate is what you're referring to, and that used to be the law, it used to be canon. But this day and age, they don't respect that shit no more. They don't respect that shit no more. If you're not specifically written in the will, it goes to the fucking state. It don't go to you. But it used to be that way. It used to go to blood relatives. But these days, if, if you're not in the will, it goes to the state. That's the truth. Executor of the estate, yes, thank you. I was having some brain lock here. But yeah, unless you're a power of attorney or executor of the estate, you're not going to get shit. You got to be power of attorney and executor of the estate to get the, to get the property. And I tried to explain this to my mother. You know, because my mother's like, I'm going to leave you the property. It's going to be in the kid's name, and you're going to be the steward of the property. I said, no, I'm not. Basically, all you've done is made me steward of my own kids, which I already am steward of my own kids. And he said, promise me that you will get them loans off of my son's back so that he can live like a normal human being. And she said, I will. She didn't say maybe. She didn't say if I see my way clear. While well, Rut flashes the 666 symbol. Did y'all see that picture? Bam. <laughs> Flashing the 666 symbol. <laughs> you guys voted uh, me. I can't think of the damn term right now. Shit. But power of attorney, uh, you know, now heir to the, uh, blood heir to the estate is what you? you're referring to. So don't sit there and tell me that my kids are starving, dumbass, because you don't know jack shit. Stop listening to a bunch of idiots on the fucking internet. Stop listening to idiots on the internet. My kids just had filet mignon yesterday. Filet mignon. How often do you eat filet mignon? So get off my ass about, the, oh my God, Von Hilton's kids are starving. No, they're not. They've never been starving, and they eat better than I do, and they sure as fuck eat better than you do. These kids are treated like kings and queens. In fact, they're treated like kings and queens so damn much, I think they become spoiled. I think I might actually have to rein that shit in because they've been treated so good. You know who eats the bologna sandwiches and the hot dogs? That's me. In fact, I got a bit. Somebody actually, somebody actually commented on the fact that I was sitting there eating hot dogs. What are my kids eating? Fredo, fettuccine, pheasant under glass. And Fox News still has not played any of my YouTube videos. <laughs> Starts in five. Still time if you hurry. Last call for refreshments, folks. Go right this second to get something good to eat and drink to enjoy now or during the rest of the show. The finest quality ingredients are in the fixings of the delicious foods 
you'll find waiting to tempt your appetite at the snack bar. Extra special good hamburgers, wonderful donuts, ice cold thirst quenching drinks. Pizza generously sliced, steaming hot, fresh coffee, ice cream in many flavors. It's showtime, folks. Enjoy the show. I've got a message for all the scumbags, losers, killers, and haters of this world. Evil must be punished. I've done ha making any Von Helton videos. I've seen the error of my ways. I hope you're telling the truth, Killswitch. Here it comes. That's just the way it is. Can you quack? Can you quack like a dove when you suck? Can you buck like a horse when we fuck? Can you take every inch of your butt? Some things will Can never change. Can you quack? Can you quack like a duck when you suck? Can you part up my balls when we fuck? Can you stick your whole tongue on my butt? Can you shit on my chest to get luck? Can you quack? Can you quack like a duck when you suck? Little ditty about Jack and Diane, two American kids growing up in the heartland. Who is stinky? Who is stinky? Somebody tell me who is stinky? 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 My name is Robert. I'm 19 years old. Nice to meet everyone. My friends call me Pompey. Well, many Mugen man. Nice to meet you, Pompey. Wait a minute. Isn't Pompey a country? Or a, or a city or some shit? Isn't Pompeii, a, isn't Pompeii a city or a country or something? Secular Lobster calls me stinky. Oh, oh well. Tough shit for him. They think they got the answers. I change the questions. Peter Peter coffee drinker told his wife he couldn't sleep. Now Wilkins decaffeinated coffee lets him sleep so very well.
pieces. Come and get a taste of this. Better than you can really do in YouTube comments for us. I mean, you really do not appreciate it. YouTube is a place for people to express the creativity without other people making fun of you. Yeah. I want every American to listen to the sound of my voice. All right, if you're an American, I want you to perk up your ears and I want you to listen to me. All right, now these trolls and haters here on YouTube have got you all scared to death to comment, to rate, to, to even view my videos in some cases. All right, now I know because I, I'm looking at Christina's comment, I'm looking at other people's comments, where they tell me privately, you know, the trolls are, are on their ass. Now listen, I want you to listen to me. We're Americans. We are Americans. We do not back down to terrorists. All right. That is not in an American's nature. Whether you're a liberal or a conservative, doesn't matter. You're still a fucking American. We do not back down to no fucking terrorists. All right. These assholes on YouTube and Google are terrorists. They have terrorized you into not commenting, into not rating on my videos or thumbing up my videos or any of that shit. They have terrorized you into not commenting. And I'm, I'm look, like I said, I'm looking at comments made by people, a whole litany of people even. You know how I did it? I did it scrubbing toilets for a living. That was my job. I scrubbed toilets for a living. I was an orderly. I changed bed pans and I scrubbed toilets. That's how I got the shit I got today, is by literally handling shit, people's shit. That's how I got where I am today, scrubbing toilets, changing bedpans, putting up with people's shitty opinions of me. That's how I got to where I am today. And I determined amongst myself that my children were... And I don't know why I didn't do a video about it years ago, when it happened. It happened years ago. We're talking about something that happened a long time ago. 
okay? But I'm just now getting this and getting the revelation of, of what it really means. And if, and, if, and if Trump can do something about it, there's going to be a lot of very happy Americans as a result. So anyway, I've teased you enough. Let's get into it. <laughs> you were in another reality and you came to this reality but you still have memories Absolutely. of the other I sure the fuck did I mean look at look at my other self my other self didn't even bother to go after these trolls at all didn't even bother okay that's not me alright I will go after them you know it's it's funny it's funny you know because I sit here and I wonder why would somebody fuck with somebody that's got guns like this? Oh, my goodness. Where my bicep is almost as big as their fucking head. You know? You would think you wouldn't want to fuck with somebody like that, man. Right? I mean, look at this shit. I'm 52 fucking years old, and look at the size of my goddamn arm. Look at the size of my bicep. You know, but these motherfuckers want to get on here and, and make wisecracks at me. I can fucking pound them into the goddamn concrete in two seconds. But they're gonna get on here and, and start shit with me. You know, if I saw some muscle bound dude, I don't give a shit how old they are. If I saw, saw some muscle bound dude, there's no way I'd fuck with them. Because I wouldn't want my ass beat, right? So, what does that say about the mental faculties of these fucking trolls and haters? It says they want to beat me, doesn't it? Isn't that what it says? Well, yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. Do you ever do that? I mean, doesn't that, that what it sound, sounds like to you? Sounds to me like they want to fucking beat him. I wouldn't go around, I wouldn't go around antagonizing dudes with, with fucking guns like this. No fucking way. No fucking way now. Especially when they're 52 years old and look like that. Can you imagine how I looked when I was younger? Can you? I mean, I'm 52, I'm 50, excuse me, 53, I just had a birthday. But can you imagine? A fucking gun, fucking guns. Well, look at that, I mean... Bigger than my fist. Guns bigger than my fist. You think I'd go around fucking with people like that? Hell no. I'd be like, fuck, I ain't getting my ass beat. <laughs> I mean, really. No, I'm both hitting the side. You know. 52, 53 year old man with guns as big as my fucking head. But I'm going to get on here and I'm going to antagonize the fuck out of that son of a bitch? Uh uh. No way. Not me. I'm not stupid. But see, these trolls and haters, apparently, they're stupid. Do what I do, what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not the, I'm not the steward of the property at all. Because in order to be the steward of the property, the property has to be in my fucking name. And it's not in my name. I'm not the, I'm not the executor of the estate. I'm not power of attorney. Power of attorney and executor of the estate have all the power. And all the say-so, I might add. I am a Helton, not a Frost. All the people that are perpetrating the bullshit online are Frost. Not Heltons. You won't find one Helton talking shit about me. Not one. Not one. You know why? Because all the Heltons in Ohio are police officers. And a good portion of the gentries are police officers as well. Didn't know that, did you? And surprise. Now, by contrast, the Heltons down here in Kentucky are all criminals. <laughs> Go figure, right? You know, so I had to change my name to Von Helton because the Heltons down here are literally criminals. They have murder raps in some cases. He tried to rape me. He tried to insinuate whatever. Your ass goes to jail because it's her word against yours. And who do you think that cop's going to believe? Your sorry white ass or your sorry black ass or your sorry Latino ass or your sorry Asian ass? No. He's going to believe the woman every fucking time. doesn't matter what color skin she has either. He'll believe the woman every fucking time. Every fucking time. That woman could be fucking lying her fucking ass out. And that police officer will believe her before she'll believe your white ass or red ass or yellow ass or black ass or brown ass. Okay? She just... It, 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 she wins every fucking time. 
And when it goes to court, it's even fucking worse. Because it doesn't matter whether the judge is liberal, conservative, independent, doesn't matter. The judge is always going to side with the woman too. Okay? You are fucked if you approach a strange woman that you don't know without at least two men with you or a police officer. That's the truth. And you better get it up here in your head because your fucking ass will be in Leavenworth breaking big rocks into little rocks if you approach a woman without at least two men with you or, uh, well, two people with you, it can be a man and a woman, or a police officer. Because all she has to do is say, hey, he was trying to rape me, he was trying to molest me, he was trying to intimidate me. You have to understand that when you see a politician or uh, uh, a military person or any type of uh, pomp and ceremony out there, you have to understand that that's not just being done for a photo op. Although, many of them are narcissistic as fuck. No, it's not just a matter of narcissism. It's the idea that that pomp and ceremony has a meaning. It's like when the Catholics bring out a big old fucking statue of the sun, the yellow ball in the sky, and they place it on the table. I know you Catholics have seen that ceremony a thousand times. Well, what do you think they're doing there? That ain't a bust of Jesus they're bringing out. No, it's a, it's a representation of the sun, the yellow ball in the sky. They bring it out and they put it on the table. I know you Catholics have seen it because I've seen it. I've seen it. Well, who are they talking about? Are they talking about Jesus? No. <laughs> talking about that yellow ball in the sky. When you go to Bethlehem, where Jesus was allegedly born, what do you see on the floor? You see a big image of the sun, S-U-N, the yellow ball in the sky. It's made out of metal, even, so it can't be destroyed. Of course, most of the 55s I know, they're out boating or skiing or fishing or doing shit like that because they've already consigned to retirement that's the truth I mean the ads are on TV even you know what are 55 year olds doing they're playing shuffleboard or they're out fishing or they're out on the lake with their friends that's what 55 year olds do but you know like I said man hey I'm more than willing to swap you know any day you give me your good legs, I'll give you my, my swollen feet and legs. We'll make a good, clean swap, and then I'll go do whatever it is you trolls and haters think I'm supposed to be doing. Fair enough? I think that's fair. I think that's a good deal. You know. See, it's real easy to get on the Internet and talk shit. Real easy. Wait until you have to lift something and then your fucking back goes out or your hip goes out. Or your fucking legs start aching so bad that you feel like they're going to burst. You know. Then it ain't so funny. I bet. When it's happening to you. You know, it's easy to get on the internet and talk shit. You know, like I said, man, I think these people threw rocks at people in wheelchairs. That's what I think these people did when they were younger. Because that's the type of person they, they, you know, that's the picture I form in my mind when I look at these scumbags on YouTube and, and Google+. Plus. You know, they must have thrown rocks at kids in wheelchairs. You know, that's what I'm thinking. You know, special needs kids, man, they throw rocks at them. You know, I actually defended somebody back when I was younger that was having that done to him. There was a special needs uh, boy in school. And people were literally throwing things at him. And I literally stood in between him and the people throwing stuff. That's what it takes to be a real person. You know. But see, you trolls and haters wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. No, you wouldn't. I crap bigger than you. Folks, when I talk about people being manipulated, Control. I'm usually talking about politics and religion, ain't I? That's typically what I discuss, especially when it comes to manipulating people and, and people being deceived or controlled in some way. I'm usually talking about religion and politics, right? Well, this time, I'm not talking about religion and politics. I'm talking about my genere, the genere that I grew up with, and a genere that I have been actively involved in 
ever since Pong. Now, unlike the trolls, I've actually toured this facility. It is a very nice facility. The people are very nice that work there. I've talked to the doctors, I talked to the nurses, I talked to the staff. It's a wonderful place. And and yes, even the mental ward where Andrea is at is a very nice facility. It's a lot nicer than I expected it to be. Let's put it that way. But this idea that she's not in a mental ward, that she is, that she's not surrounded by other crazy people, I'm sorry, that's a total fucking lie. Uh, she can claim that all day long, but that's that's a total lie. I was at the building. I've been there. I've been there. I talked with the staff, talked with the doctors, talked with the nurses, took a tour through the building. Very nice facility. But when she said she wasn't in a mental ward, she lied, because she is. And everybody in her wing is a mental patient. And since we're on the subject, is Andrea a mental patient? Yes. She's been diagnosed with ADHD, schizophrenia, bipolar, and like five other ailments. Folks, she takes 15 medicines a day. 15 different medicines a day. Oh, and I think she mentioned something that I wasn't giving her a medicine. That's a fucking lie. That's a total fucking lie. In fact, I've still got her medicine on the top of my fridge. It's still right there waiting for her to come home. But of course, she never came home. Instead, she decided she would get on the Internet and slander the only person that ever really loved her. I'm the only person that ever really loved her. All other men... All the other men she had been with, all they were after was a piece of ass. I am the only man that loved her. Well, Devon, how can you prove that? Because I married her, dumbass. None of these other men married her. They got a piece of ass off of her and they moved on. They didn't want to keep her. They didn't want to help her. They didn't want her to get better. They got their piece of ass and they moved on. And this man she's with now is... It, why is he with her? He's with her to get a piece of ass, get what money he can out of her, and then he'll be gone too. The previous man she had built uh, Andrea's mom out of $10,000. $10,000. Her previous boyfriend built uh, Andrea's mom out of that money. And I'm like, Andrew, that money would have went for you a nice place to live. <laughs> but, oh well. You know, See, when I'm no longer her husband, she's at the mercy of tricksters, liars, the trolls, whoever comes along. She's at their mercy because I cannot protect her. I'm no longer her husband. I can't protect her anymore. Sorry. And now that she's broke the law, I have to throw her in jail because if I don't throw her in jail, i got to apologize to all the other people I threw in jail. When somebody breaks the law, I have to throw them in jail. I don't have a choice. I, just the Roman Empire alone, since I've been working on some Skyrim stuff. <laughs> let's, let's look at the Roman Empire, though. Bathhouses, sanitation, aqueducts, sewage systems. That's just four things off the top of my head that the white race has done for humanity. All right? That's just, that's just off the top of my head. All right? You know, now the Muslims would like to come in and, well, we, we did mathematics and we didn't, no, no, <laughs> no, wait a minute, no, 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 you didn't. No, that's a lie. Uh, that's a lie. No, uh, the pagans, the white pagans before you did, all right? Um, you know, the, um, uh, what is that uh, the thing with the beads? Um, I want to call it hibiscus, but I think hibiscus is actually a plant. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you know what I'm talking about. The thing with the beads where you, where you do simple math with the beads, you know, and they're in lines and rows and shit. Anyway, the point is, um, you know, the Muslims want to claim that. And uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no. The Egyptians were using that shit long before the Muslims took Egypt over. So you got to understand, folks, most of the Middle East was white folk. I know that comes as a shock to some of you, but it's true. But it's true. All right, folks. In today's episode of Von Hilton Schools the Masses, we're going to discuss what a hate video is. We're going to say what it is, how it is, and how you can do your part to stop it. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Because everybody's got fucking bloodlust. You call me a vampire. You're the fucking vampires because you're the ones wanting to kill thousands of innocent babies. 
So for any woman who would, we want to talk about it, anybody, any woman who is say, a teenage girl pregnant listening to this, um, and she's pregnant and she's considering an abortion, Ron, would you please to ex explain to us the surrogate mother process she, she would undertake now? Sure, there are plenty of places she can go to and, and get information on, on surrogate, and, and they can actually remove the child, implant it into the surrogate mother, the surrogate mother carries it, she don't even have to fucking carry the child anymore. No she don't even have to keep it if she don't want it. She can turn it, she can sign it over to the surrogate mother and their family, and she don't even have to worry I about think it it's placed in vitro, dude. I don't think the baby's already inside a woman. And by the time they find out the woman's pregnant, she... Well, I don't know what I'm feeling tonight. I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared, I guess I'll fall off my chair. And I'm all out of get down the stairs. Assholes to the left of me, idiots to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Look, I have watched every one of these fucking video replies to this guy. I don't give a fuck who he was in another YouTube incarnation. I don't give a fuck what any of you assholes say, because you're obviously a product of communist professors and idiots who don't know what the fuck the word natural means. So let me help you out, since you're too fucking stupid, you're too fucking brain dead to know what the word natural means. Natural means that something happens without intervention, okay? That's what natural means, okay? So a man and a woman who get together and have sex will naturally produce a child. A man and a man that get together for sex will not naturally produce a child. Okay? A woman and a woman that get together will not naturally produce a child. Okay? Now, it amazes me that none of you stupid fucking idiots know what the word natural means that I have to come on here and explain this shit to you. Okay? First of all, the man's entitled to his opinion. Second of all, you all are a bunch of fucking dumbasses. Okay? I'm sorry, but you are. When you get on this YouTube and you say that homosexuality is natural, you either fucking do not know what the word natural means, or you're just a fucking dumbass. Well, it's just that simple. Natural means something that occurs without modification or intervention. Alright? When a man and a man have sex and they produce a child, come see me! Until then, that is not natural. Because you have to intervene medically in order to make that shit happen. We're on the verge of colonizing other planets. And you, you fucks are too fucking stupid to know what the fucking word natural means. And this is my future? These are the people that's going to be my future? These are the people I'm going to rely on to get my ass to fucking Mars? Holy shit! I'm in, I'm in deep trouble. You don't even know what the fucking word natural means. What, what are you, are you fucking brain dead? I, I don't know, I don't get you. I don't get it. I watched every one of these fucking videos. Y'all are a bunch of dumbasses. Y'all are a bunch of dumbasses. Natural means something that occurs without intervention. So no, homosexuality is not natural. It will never be natural. You can sit there and whine and cry and jump up and down and beg and plead and hold your breath till you turn blue. It will not change that fact. I can't believe I can't believe that my future is in your fucking dumbass hands. You better fucking grow a brain and grow up fast. Everywhere that homosexuality has touched a society, that society suffered because of it. Why? Because homosexuality ain't natural, you bunch of dumbasses. Jesus Christ, I can't believe y'all are so fucking stupid. Now, do I, do, do I mind homosexual? No, go fucking fuck a goat if you want to. But that ain't fucking natural. Dumbasses, grow a fucking brain. Okay, well, I got a question for you. I know, I know this is in the question. How do you think the abortion works? How do I think abortion works? I'll tell you how it works. Like, how, the, how, the, how you twist think? The they twist the baby. If, if, it, if, it's, if, if they need, to, they twist the baby. And, and they shove they shove a syringe in the back of its head, and they suck the brains out. They crush the skull, and then they pull the baby out. That's how they do it. That's how it's done. No. And it, yeah, it is. That's how it's done. They, they act Give me a close shave.
Do you drink Wilkins coffee? Never. My friend, this is going to be the closest shave you've ever had. So, uh, it looks like I'm going to have to deal with the trolls by myself. So be prepared for a knock on the door by me. Okay, you're going to be facing me. And I ain't going to be playing, and I ain't going to be laughing. Because when I get done, there won't be anything left. All right? You'll never get on the internet again, I guarantee fucking to you when I get done. Doctor's license, come up here from Tennessee and risk her... Have you noticed everybody's coming out of Tennessee? Have you noticed that? Red Cross is out of Tennessee. Dr. Del Mundo's out of Tennessee. Southern Ravens out of Tennessee. If they're coming at me with a knife, I'm more within my right to kill them. Because it's either them or me at that point, dumbass. Have you noticed everybody's coming out of Tennessee? Have you noticed that? Red Cross is out of Tennessee. Dr. Del Mundo's out of Tennessee. Southern Ravens out of Tennessee. The FBI has blown me off, as well as the state police and the local police. Uh, I'm coming for you myself. Uh, looks like I don't have a choice now, do I? So, if they're coming at me with a knife, I'm more within my right to kill them. Because it's either them or me at that point, dumbass. But you go on ahead and you post your little hate video about me. Go ahead. Because I don't give a fuck. Now that the FBI has blown me off, as well as the state police and the local police, uh, I'm coming for you myself. Uh, it looks like I don't have a choice, now do I? Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to deal with the trolls by myself. So be prepared for a knock on the door by me. Okay, you're going to be facing me. And I ain't going to be playing and I ain't going to be laughing. Because when I get done, there won't be anything left. Right. You'll never get on the internet again, I guarantee you when I get done. This is Sheriff John. Doctor's license, come up here from Tennessee and risk her. Have you noticed everybody's coming out of Tennessee? Have you noticed that? Boys and girls everywhere. Red Cross is out of Tennessee. Doctor Del Mundo's out of Tennessee. Southern Ravens out of Tennessee. Now, since everybody has blown me off, I'm coming after you myself. I will find out. I will. There has to be somebody that knows how to get your information. Uh, you trolls, you haters on Delphi and YouTube and whatever. I'm going to find out where you live. I'm going to knock on your door, and uh, we're going to handle matters our way. Because the police don't want to help me. District attorney don't want to help me. State police don't want to help me. The FBI don't want to help me. Now I still have a couple of things I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying, but that's but that's dealing with CPS. I ain't dealing with the trolls. Because I'm actually going after CPS as well, as well. Uh, because uh, you know CPS uh, needs needs to needs to get some payback. All right. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, CPS has harassed me and my family. Uh, there's people that don't. Want, oh, they're just doing their job. Come on, yeah, now, right. And just and doing their job, happy. my ass. And the world will they destroy people's you. families and when they get away with it. Big time. But at least, at least this bullshit that the trolls are doing the with the uh, CPS won't won't fly no more. Break okay. out a smile and in a while the gloom will go away. 
that way when they call CPS and they try to, you know, get on Hilton's kids taken away or, or some other poor family's kids taken away, sorry, you got to be in the home, you got to be a resident of the state they live in, and you got to be in their home and actually witness the altercation take place. Until then, click. All right, that's the way it's going to be. That's the legislation that I'm going to have drafted up. And like I said, I talked to a senator's uh, secretary yesterday. They were very encouraged, I might add. So uh, I see no problem with this legislation going forward. So CPS has been handled, more or less. Well, it's going to be. I, so all that's left now to do is to go after the trolls. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much it costs to get a, get a bounty hunting license and go through whatever hoops they want me to go through so that when I knock on your door, troll, I'll be legal, okay? And if you resist arrest, I'll be legal to bust your ass, too. Okay? That way you can't whine, he is a vigilante! You won't be able to whine that shit because I'll be legal when I knock on your door. I'm already looking into what I need to do to be totally legal in all 50 states of the Union. Get on the internet, and if I can find out somebody's personal information, I can get CPS called on them. I can get their business ruined. I can get um, I can get their, their their siblings killed, their wife killed. Nobody's going to do jack shit. Not not a soul, not a peep. Nobody's going to do nothing. Do you think anybody did an investigation on why my wife's oxygen was cut off? No. Nope. No. No. You know what, Von Hilton? I have been far too nice about this for far too long. But since you continually cannot keep my name out of your mouth, and now you're sending death threats towards me and other people, I want to personally invite you yet again to bring your saggy ass down to my house. Do I need to send you a bus ticket? I am sick and tired of your, now your death threats against me. Do, do you, do you really think that I'm afraid of you, Von Hell? Do you? I want this to be the first house that you take. So when you're sucking on your fake cigarettes, running your mouth, and making death threats against me personally because I don't take that shit lightly. But no deal. I want you to bring your ass down to my house. I want to be the first place you come. Because when I lay you out flatter than your wife's chest, I will be the one that's justified. I am sick of you threatening me with death threats. Who in the fuck do you really think you are? Come down here. Do you need a bus ticket? Would you like me to film myself driving to Nashville and find you one? So your white trash ass can come down here with no teeth and your flabby, old, disgusting body to come down here and follow through with your death threats. I want you to come down here so bad. Bounty hunter, you are such a moron that you think if you go and become a bounty hunter that you can kidnap people and that's what you're talking about, kidnapping people. I want you to come down to this life. I want this to be the first place you come to. I gave you my job, but you and Jadria, your fucking retarded wife, turned around and slandered everything that I said. And I'm still not in jail. You know why? Because you're proven to be a lying sack of shit. When can I expect you, Bond? Don't use your bounty hunter dreams to keep you from coming down here and following through from your death threats to me. I am not scared of you. And now you're starting to piss me off. Bring it. Bring your retarded life with you. 
I want you to call him first. I am so sick of you not keeping my name out of your mouth, slandering me, false accusations, telling people about a criminal record that I don't even have. You call people pussies when you're the pussy. I've been waiting for over a month for you to come down here and rub my ass, kill me, talk to them and just stay in their lap. Come down here and let's find out. Because everyone knows you're not going to be a bounty hunter. You don't even have enough money to support your damn kid. But I want you to come down here. I want to see you kick my ass. I want to see this so bad. I am sick and tired of you threatening me. Are you going to come down here and do anything? What are you waiting for? You idiot. You moron. You're gonna cut you're just gonna go and kill people and nobody's gonna do anything. Come down here and try it! Ron help! Stop threatening me! Do it! For once in your low down, low down class. Follow through with something for a change. You know where I live. Bring it. Not next week. Not next year. Now. Do it. Bring it. Somebody tell me who is thinking. Who is Stinky? Who is Stinky? Who is Stinky? Who is Stinky? My name is Robert. I'm 19 years old. Nice to meet everyone. My friends call me Pompey. Well, many media men. Nice to meet the Pompey. Wait a minute. Isn't Pompey a country? Or a, or a city or some shit? Isn't Pompeii a, isn't Pompeii a city or a country or something? Secular Lobster calls me stinky. Oh, oh well. Tough shit for him. This machine tells if you're a good guy or a bad guy. How? Oh. All good guys drink Wilkins Instant Coffee. As far as morality, though, to get back to your point, because I do try to stay on topic, there is a such thing as topic drift, but I do try to stay on topic. In order for atheists to have morality, you're going to have to show me where that morality comes from. It has to have an origin. You're going to have some great atheist in the past that bestowed morality upon you. Otherwise, you're stuck with the fact that morality comes from religion. So, no. unless, yes, so unless you have some ancient guru from the past that bestowed that morality upon you, uh, the Maybe only the, guru the, the only origin, well, that, no, the only origin of morality that I'm aware of is the various religions of the world that's out there. Arguing for ignorance. No, no. Where did, where did that ancient guru get his morale, get the morals, the, get the, get the uh, edicts from? <sighs> that's not my problem. That's your problem. <laughs> my, problem is, my problem is is that in order to claim, make a claim about a thing, it must have an origin. Okay, that's just the way shit is. Okay. okay where, where, did the, where did this ancient, where did this ancient guru, where, where's the origin for the, the edicts he put forth? Not my problem. I'm not an atheist. Well, you're making a claim there that that's, that's I'm, ludicrous. I'm, 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 dude, bam, bam. I'm not an atheist, okay? okay. That's it's ludicrous on face value. It's not my problem. It's up to you guys to figure no. out, okay, who was our ancient guru that bestowed this morality upon us? Because, uh, I, I, like I said, the only... That's not my claim. That, that's what you're always talking about, okay? It's not my claim that there was an ancient guru that bestowed this well, knowledge. Well, whose claim was it? Because it was obviously somebody... It was who? You. No, it was not my claim. What me? 
what anyone else in this thing else. All right, all right, okay, let's, let's, okay, all right, let me, let me turn it on a dime here and go this direction. All right, uh, if, if you don't have an origin for your morality, then where the fuck did it come from? Because it had to come from somewhere. And if you don't have some ancient guru, atheist guru out here in perpetuity that bestowed it upon you, then the only other source I'm aware of is religion. Which means you're going to have to cop to the fact that religion gave you the morality you have. Otherwise, you're going to have to come up with some kind of ancient atheist guru that bestowed it upon you. Do you understand? Well, you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Okay, there's good. cultural relativism, there's Where ethical is, egoism, okay. there's virtue please ethics, there's feminism. Okay. Okay. All right, please cite there's the origin. Theory. There's white space theories. No, 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 no. Please cite the, the origin of atheist morality. Please cite it. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha my ass. There is not. Even Buddha said there was a god. He just didn't advocate it that much. He took his apprentice head, stubbed him down the water, and pulled him back up out of the water and said, When you can breathe, when you when you want when you want God as much as you want to breathe air, you'll find God. Buddha even said that himself. Okay, so please. There is only one origin of morality, and that is the various religions of the world. That's the truth. Bon, is it true that you believe anything that you want to believe and you don't believe stuff that you don't want to believe? You're really buying into that meme about Buddha and the water and wanting it. You're buying into that. Wait a minute. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I'm citing. I'm citing things that are, that are historical. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with citing historical uh, evidence. Nothing wrong with that. Saying that they're full of shit. And number one, you believe what you want to believe. Which things is have to have. No, damn it. Things have to have an origin. Okay, they do. They have to have a damn origin. Okay. If you're gonna claim, if you're gonna claim that atheism, no, no, no. If you're gonna claim that atheism has an origin, let's hear it. Where did it come from? Among the theories of morality, there is moral subjectivism. In its most common form, it amounts to the denial of moral principles of any significant kind, and the possibility of moral criticism and argumentation. In essence, right and wrong lose their meaning because so long as someone thinks or feels that some action is right, there are no grounds of criticism. If you are a moral subjectivist, you cannot object to anyone's behavior, assuming people are in fact acting according to what they think is or feels right. Then there is cultural relativism. Right and wrong is determined by the particular set of principles or rules the relevant culture happens to hold at the time. Ethical egoism. Right and wrong is determined by what is right in your self-interest. Or it is immoral to act contrary to your self-interest. There's divine command theory, which would be following under your thing. There's virtue ethics. There are right and wrong are characterized in terms of acting in, accord, in accordance with traditional virtues. Um, there is uh, utilitarianism. Right and wrong is determined by the overall goodness or utility of the consequences of action. There's a Kantian theory. Right and wrong is determined by rationality, giving universal duties. And there's rights-based theories. We act in, we are to act in accordance with a set of moral rights, which we possess sim by simply being human. Then there's contractarianism, which is the principles of right and wrong or justice, are those which everyone in society would agree upon in forming a social construct. So there is quite a few different moral the moral theories that only one of which would require a a source, as you're saying, that would be divine command theory. No. No. You, but what you're what you're describing to me is actions, reactions, um, you know, uh, causation. You know, that's not what I want. What I want is that ancient atheist guru that bestowed morality to you. You claim Funny. that atheist. No, no, no. You claim that atheism has morality. Well, actually, uh, well, no, maybe, maybe not you directly, but other atheists in this room have done so. Okay, they, 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 I would say that they were that. they were speaking incredibly poorly if they said that. Ad, ad, atheism. Admittedly, admittedly, I did come in late on the conversation. But I have Wilkins coffee and another kind of coffee. I want the cheap stuff. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Sorry, but that other coffee is for the birds. They have literally hamstrung mankind for centuries, decades, you know, millennia. And it's time for it to end. It's time for it to come to an end. And at first, I'm, you know, I, I, don't get me wrong. I mean, far be it for me to second guess the gods, right? But still, you know, there was kind of this, eh, I don't know. I mean, they've been in power for so damn long. But um, 
Earth. You know, when the gods Earth. tell me something, yip, 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 yip. it happens. It comes to pass. Well, wow, imagine that. Look. You know, and uh, so what I'm about to show you is going to totally blow your fucking mind because it did mine. Going to totally blow your mind. Hello. And and I'm telling you, this Greetings. this is a great day. Greetings. This is the beginning. Hello. This is the beginning of of of. of just unprecedented, unprecedented freedom. I, I'm telling you, I believe unprecedented freedom is coming to the people of Earth. The people of Earth. Not just America, the people of Earth. Okay? Look at me, look at my eyes. The people of Earth are going to experience unprecedented freedom that they have not had in millennia. Unprecedented freedom. Why, why are dictators created? Why do dictators exist? You know, sometimes I guess me and Carl don't get what the kids are doing, you know. We don't get what the end things are. And uh, admittedly, you know, we don't know everything. And we are a bit set in our ways here at Seth the Lobster Ministries. We are a bit, of, you know, lobster traditionalists, yet yeah, with some liberal spins. We allow crustaceans of any kind. We don't, uh, we don't care. You know, even if you feel like you're a crustacean, you're welcome here to uh, be a member of uh, the Crustacean Nation. Anyway, so we're, we're, we're checking out these, these ways that because we're told that we're insensitive, that we should check things out, see what the latest things are, watch people do what they do, and, and that maybe we'll understand. So here, this is something that's been on the Internet. And it's gotten a lot of hits, and me and Carl are going to, well, we're going to try to critique it. First of all, I, I think from the beginning that it's what happens when um, someone spends a lot of time in jail, maybe not a lot of time, but some time in jail, has a lot of spare time on their hand, and they've got some old VHS tapes of, you know, Bible man, you know, Willie Ames, you know, and, you know, you're into the hip hop scene and you like to impress your, uh, your homeboys and, you know, shake a leg and, you know, things like that. Like the kids say these days, you know, bust a move or something, you know, and, uh, I, I think, you know, maybe mixed with some drug haze remembrance and just some weird shit, you know, and, uh, just wanting to feel and belong and do something. Well, when you have a lot of time on your hands, this is pretty much what you get, I think. And you know, so let's let's take a look at this. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop the video periodically and do some critiquing and tell us what you think and ask for you know maybe well maybe we'll throw out some suggestions or something. So let's check this out. of the devil put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit which is the word of god jesus christ so put on huh. yeah pretty much spot on the guy had too much time he found some bible man vhs tapes he's never gonna be the same again he's oh my goodness this is gonna be fucking funny Jesus Christ, so put on huh, the arm of God. Jesus Christ, we love you, God, so we do it for God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the arm of God. Jesus Christ, we love you, God, so we do it for God. Jesus Christ. He's got a belt of truth. At least, at least, he, at least he pulled his pants up. What? What? What the? What the fuck? So we do it for we love you, God. Chestplate. Jesus. 
have you got? She's pray to flush it is. <laughs> I can't pray. Pray dance. Pray dance again. <laughs> Shitty fucking. Oh my god. This guy spent a lot of time in jail. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> no, don't smoke meth. I'm not, that's not, that's not the shit I listen to. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's the shit you don't do either. Oh my god, this is funny. Oh shit, can you imagine going to shit? Bringing this boy home to meet dad. Once again, it's a good thing he has a belt. It, it, at least God teaches him to pull his pants up. So that's always a good thing, don't you think so, Kyle? Oh my God. Jesus Christ of righteousness. We love you, God. Shoes of peace stomping on the enemy. God. Jesus Christ, we love you, God. So we do it for Shield, Jesus Christ, of faith, rise. Please help us in our mission to rid every jail, every prison, every lockup facility in the world of any fucking Willie Ames Bible Man VHS tapes. And if we have to destroy every VHS player, in the world to, to 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 make that happen as well well i think it's well darn fucking worth it so more people like this guy aren't subjected to bible men videos because i guess it's what the kids call popping so that's what i guess but what the fuck I mean, that's uh, worshiping God and witnessing and stuff and totally sending out the word of God and, you know, stuff. And uh, I guess that's what the kids are doing once you get out of jail and learn street and all that stuff. And you wear red stuff. I mean, what happens if he gets dude walks into a fucking, like, uh neighborhood that if you wear red you get a shot you know what happens if he's wearing red and he walks into the blue neighborhood he's fucked but anyway he's popping for jesus and he's got jesus on the side of his fucking hat so you know he loves jesus and stuff and because he's got his chest plate thing and doing the bible man buggy you know um I, I guess they don't call them boogies anymore, but you know, you understand what I'm saying. He's uh, popping and rocking to the memories of Bible man in prison. And uh, if there's anything that's funnier than this, please let me know. God, this is fucked up. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword. Of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, Jesus Christ, to put on huh, the arm of God. It's almost like he goes into full on seizure, you know? Um, trigger words, I'm not fucking sure, but. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, and this is this is another reason, too, to hate the power, right? I mean, 
Craig grew up with the Power Rangers, and he gets mixed in with Bible Man. I mean, this guy is just, yeah, I mean, not saying he was in for drugs, but uh, I'm sure there was a little bit of narcotic use. And it's yet a young man's past and stuff. But anyway, you know, makes a little Power Ranger and, you know, fucking Bible Man shit with Willie Ames. And, oh, my God. Who? God only knows who visited him in prison and told him that that stuff was really, you know, good. And that was a... <laughs> well, it's fucking funny as shit, but we're almost done. And take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, Jesus Christ, to put on huh, the arm of God, Jesus Christ. We love you, God, so we do it for God. Jesus Christ, uh, belt of truth. Once again, the belt's important. He's got his pants pulled up, and we've got to give him that much. But, you know... My God, that's fucked up. We're being as, we're being totally serious here. We're critiquing this video. We're we're checking out the new scene to find out what the how the kids are like, you know, doing it these days. You know, the street kids, you know, and everything. And uh, so we're this is just totally for for uh, educational purposes here at Sector Lobster Ministries. In no way, shape, or form are we trying to make fun of anybody's personal beliefs or how they personally do whatever the fuck it is that they fucking do. In no way, shape, or form are we mocking anybody. Wait, where's the button? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that at the end. I was having too much fucking fun with it. I just figured I'd throw the rest of what I had left, but that was some fucking serious shit, man. And, and you know, I wanted to like it, and I did. It was fu funny as fuck, but that's worshiping and stuff, and we're not here to judge anybody. We're here to understand and figure out what the fuck and why. And on uh, so many levels here at Sexual Officer Ministries, we would honestly like to thank you for watching this video. Um, Fun Brigade is up. Join the Fun Brigade now. The Fun Brigade is filled with lots of people who like to have fun and joy in their life and bring fun and joy to others. And maybe think about joining the Fun Brigade for more information, send a self-addressed stamp envelope to Lobster Ministries and or contact us through the Lobster Line. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Carl, he's uh, passed out on the floor from laughing. And um, uh, Snaggletooth, um, our 
Well, toothless dragon. Did. Well, receptionist. Officially, it was receptionist. You know, we put her on the payroll right now. Found out that the dragon is actually a female. So uh, we had to kind of like watch it with the female jokes and stuff around here. But uh, she does make coffee and uh, pretty good at it. And she knows how to answer the phones. So any questions, please uh, address Snaggletooth or uh, maybe Carl in the uh, control room. But uh, this is Sector Lobster. I hope everybody's enjoyed the show. Whatever it was, we just pulled off. Whatever it was, we just did. And you watched the entire fucking thing. And you haven't subscribed to this channel yet. Well, you suck. And, <clears throat> well, I'd I, I, I hope that you would actually you know, subscribe or something. Or, or, or not, and it's totally up to you because we have no pressure here. We also uh, hope that uh, your day is bright. And uh, um, yeah, peace.